This animation introduces a powerful principle known as squash and stretch. Welcome to Mazitech. The most important aspect of the squash and stretch principle is its ability to bring life and dynamism to the objects or characters that are being animated. It involves deforming an object by stretching it or squashing it so as to convey weight, flexibility and movement. And in this video, we are going to be creating this animation right in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. We'll start off by creating a new composition. Click on the composition button, enter the composition name, jumping ball. I'm using the HD preset with a frame rate set to 60 and a duration set to 10 seconds. Create the ball using the ellipse tool, holding down the shift and the command for a perfect round shape. The fill color is set to green with a stroke of 24 pixels. With the ball shape selected, hit enter key and rename the shape to ball. Move the anchor point to the center of the ball by pressing Y on the keyboard to activate the anchor point tool. Then click on the ball and drag it to its center. Next, with the ball selected, press P on the keyboard to reveal the position transform. Drag the playhead to one second and create a keyframe. Switch to the selection tool by pressing V. Move the playhead to one second, 30 frames, and drag the ball downwards holding the shift to create another keyframe. Then copy the first keyframe and paste it at two seconds. Let's create a work area in the range of one to two seconds. Move the playhead to one second and then pressing B on the keyboard to create the starting point and then move the playhead to two seconds and press N to create the ending point. Now, if you press the space bar to play the animation, you'll get this linear animation. So let's improve on it by selecting all keyframes and pressing F9 on the keyboard to turn on Easy Ease. Then switch to the graph editor and make sure you are on the speed graph. To make the animation feel real, we want the ball to drop faster towards the bottom and slow down in the air. So select the leftmost keyframe and drag it to the right. Also select the right keyframe and drag it towards the left. Next, let's add the squash and stretch effect. Turn on the graph editor and move the playhead to 1 second, 30 frames and then press S on the keyboard with the ball selected to reveal the scale transform. Then create a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. We want to deform the ball by squashing it, so click on the link icon to remove the constraint on the proportions. Then set the first dimension to 120 and the second dimension to 80. The idea here is to ensure that the volume of the ball stays the same. So whatever is removed from the first dimension is added to the second dimension. Next, move the playhead to 6 frames on the left, that is 1 second 24 frames and create another keyframe by switching the proportions to stretch the ball. Copy the keyframe and move the playhead to 1 second 36 frames and paste it. Create another keyframe at 1 second, setting both dimensions to 100 as the ball should look normal when in the air. Copy the keyframe, move the playhead to 2 seconds and paste it. Next, we'll create the line. Press G on the keyboard to activate the pen tool. Move the playhead to 1 second 24 frames and then click on the extreme left at a point that is a little beneath the ball. Create the second point on the extreme right, holding down shift to create a straight line. Set the stroke size to 14 pixels and turn off the fill property. With the line shape selected, hit enter key and rename the shape layer to line. Now, with the line selected, reveal the path transform and create a keyframe. Move the playhead to 1 second, 30 frames and press G on the keyboard to activate the pen tool. Then click the middle of the line to create a new point. Switch to the Convert Vertex tool. Double click on the point, then press V to switch back to the Selection tool and drag the point downwards. This will create another keyframe, making the line stretch downwards as a result of the weight of the ball. Move the playhead to 1 second 36 frames and create a new keyframe by selecting the Path Transform and dragging the center of the line towards the ball as it goes up. We want to ensure that the line wiggles when the ball leaves, so copy the keyframe and paste it at 4 frames in front. Select the path transform and drag it down a bit. Copy the keyframe again, paste it at 4 frames in front. With the path transform selected, move it up a little again. To complete the wiggle effect, copy the first path keyframe of the line and paste it at 4 frames after the last keyframe. This should be at 1 second 48 frames. Then add easy ease to the keyframe by selecting all of them and pressing F9 on the keyboard. Next, import the window image 
and drag it to the composition layers. Hold shift and rescale the image. Lastly, let's add a drop shadow effect on the line. Click on effect on the right and set for drop shadow. Drag it on the line layer. Set the softness to 40, direction to 180 degrees and distance to 200. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Please share and like. Also let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next.